This week on Sport Fishing, we're back aboard the Legend. We left out of H&M Landing late last night, drove down south. We're outside Ensenada right now. We're gonna be looking at kelp patties, trying to find some Dorado, yellowtail, tuna, you never know what to expect. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. All right. I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. What's up, baby? Woo! You're gonna open your drive, right? yeah. Wide open bite here on the legend. I got fish going right now. Get him, Dan. We got fish breaking all around the boat. Just crazy fishing. Oh, it, crazy. Fish everywhere. Fish everywhere. We got a mix of skipjack. There's more tuna coming up the side. Yellowfin, gaff. There's my tuna right here, right here. There's my fish. There we go. Yeah, baby. Nice tuna right here. There we go. Right, right here on the legend. Beautiful, beautiful yellowfin beautiful tuna. Yellowfin. Good job, Dan. Good job. Thanks. All right, let's take a little break from the action here aboard the legend. Good job, Dan. And go to the tackle box, give you a good look at the gear you need for this type of fishing. This week in the Tackle Box, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about what we're doing today. We're offshore, we're fishing for tuna, and it's been one of those years where you never know what you're gonna catch. Could be little school-sized fish, anywhere from 20 to 30 pound fish, or it could be those monsters, the two to 300 pound fish. So you have to bring a little bit of everything. So here's just the basic gear you need for this type of fishing. For the school-sized fish, you can get by 
using something like this, a 3.0 size reel, 65 pound spectra on the back, 25 to 30 pound mono on top is perfect for that type of fishing. For that 100 to 250 pound class, something like this will work out fine. A larger two speed reel, international, that little press the button there for the two speed action makes all the difference in the world when you're after that big fish and you have them straight up and down underneath the boat. Press that button, comes up like a corkscrew. It's still a lot of work, but it's a lot easier having a larger outfit like this. Again, you're going to want a heavy action rod. Roller guides is really important for that bigger fish. And for that 300 pound fish, you're gonna want something even bigger than this. But some like this, 16S, 30, something like that works out really good for that 150, 200 pound fish. Again, you're gonna fish heavier line, anywhere from 80 to 100 pound spectra on the back and 80 pound monofilament on top, and then fluorocarbon anywhere from 80 to 100 pound, just depending on how big the fish are that you're going for. Now for that school size fish, anywhere from 20 to 40 pounds, something like this works out really good. This is a magic metal jig, four and a half ounce. For some reason, they really like the red color. I guess been lots of red crabs in the water last couple seasons. And throwing this out, swimming it back, the yellow fin, the blue fin will both hit it. And one last thing I wanna remind you is when you're out here on these trips, you never know what size bait they're gonna have. Might be little tiny anchovies, might be a nice size sardines, or sometimes it's big mackerel. And because of that, you need to always carry a wide selection of hooks with you. So that's why I always bring a tray like this, different colors, different sizes. Just wanna be prepared for everything because when you're out at sea, 100 miles, there's no store to go to. So I always bring a selection of hooks with me. Well, this is the basic gear you need for this type of fishing. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on sport fishing. You guys gotta walk around, follow your line. Right. Legends for Fish with Dan Hernandez, his first yellow fish. Way to go, bud. Yeah. Good job, man. Thanks, thanks. Salt life, baby. Oh. Great fishing. Good job, smile for the camera with the mask on. They can tell in the eyes. Oh, <laughs> might be a it. Got number two. It's good. <laughs> Yeah. Nice yellow fin, nice yellow fin on the fish. 
Oh. Here's my fish right here. Another fish on a jig. Yellowfin, gaff. Gaff somebody. All right. This is Captain Steven here in the legend. His dad has uh, been around forever. Steven's stepping in now and doing really good jobs. Got us on this great bike. And right now we're not that far from San Diego, really, right? Oh, we're about 45, 50 miles. 50 off miles south. Yeah. And we're catching fish and everything on live bait. This is a magic metal jig, three and three eighths, just fishing it right on the surface. Tuna fishing is fantastic. We take a little break from the action. Let's go to the galley, show you how to cook up on these delicious fish we're catching. Yeah. Thanks, Steven. Yeah. This week in the galley, we're in Lakewood, California at Mama Sushi. It's a sushi place that I've been to a few times. Nice little restaurant, has a nice sushi bar. Standing next to me is a head chef here, Pat. Hey, Pat, thanks for having us over. Good one, it? <clears throat> and what do you have in store for us today? Oh, uh, we're gonna make some uh, sashimi first. Start with like uh, tuna with blue cheese and some uh, wasabi yuzu sauce. Cool, I never had sashimi with blue cheese. Yes. All right, how do we get started? Okay. So we're gonna start with the plate first. And what kind of tuna is this? It's a bluefin tuna, this one. Okay. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna cut the sashimi way. Now we have some blue cheese and what's the use of sauce. This we can get from the Asian market. Oh, you mix them together. Yeah, we're gonna mix together with the sauce. All right, Pat, I have to try this. This looks delicious. Yes, try it. With blue cheese, I never had blue cheese on Sashimi before. Yes. <laughs> that is really delicious. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Pat. I've uh, had many meals with you in the past. <laughs> okay. I'm glad we got you on the TV show. Oh, okay. This is really nice. Yeah, remember, this is Mama Sushi in Lakewood, California. Really unique dish. Never thought of having sashimi with blue cheese. Comes off really good. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. What's up, baby? Woo! You gonna open your truck? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, I open it, I'm back. Here we go, here we go, gaff, gaff, gaff. Gaff. Yeah. Color yellow. On the magic metal. Yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go. Yeah, baby. Woo! The legend, Nick from the legend. Here we go, Steve, Thomas. Thomas right here, yeah, baby. Fish with Dan. Another yellow fin. Yellow fin. Oh yeah, right here. Look at that. Nice. Yellow? Yellow fin, baby, oh. right here. All right, I see the legend, Dan Hernandez. All right. Yeah. 
Give him a thumbs up. Sport Fishy with Dan Hernandez on the ledge. Awesome. Nice yellow fin over here. Nice little yellow. Yeah. Oh, beautiful Woo! yellow fin. Yeah. They're biting right They're biting, there. baby. They're biting. They're biting. Nice one, Steve. Nice one, baby. Guy. Right. Hey, wow, I just want to take this. Here, come right. Got a yellow fin going right here. You see the reel I'm using, just a low profile reel. Got 50 pound spectra with 25 pound mono on top. Gaff, please. Gaff. Yeah. Right here. Oh. 
I got two on the lure. This is a light bait. Here we go. Another yellowfin tuna for me. I'm almost limited out. My fourth one. Fantastic fishing here on the legend. Just one stop shop. We got all these fish going here. We're gonna pick away, get a few more here, and then go look, find a cow patty so we can get some Dorado. Just perfect fishing today. Let's take a little break from the action here aboard the legend. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you guys a little bit how we caught all the fish today. It was pretty simple fishing. It was live bait fishing. I did catch a couple on the magic metal jigs using a three and three eighths mackerel color. And when those fish were boiling on the surface, that worked out really good. But for the majority of the guys, it was all about using live bait. And what they were using was light line, 25 pound test mono. Some had fluorocarbon. I didn't use fluorocarbon today. I went the straight mono, worked out really good. Using a low profile reel like this, 25 pound test mono, live bait hook, like a size 1.0 live bait hook, and a nice medium action rod worked out really good. It was perfect for the school size tuna. I had no problem getting my limited tuna, got some skipjack. We even got Dorado. It was just awesome fishing. Well, I want to thank Captain Steven and the whole crew of the legend. They did a great job. We had lots of fun fishing with them today. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing. And I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.